We are going today to show you how to build your own small arrangement for Valentine's Day. So first you start with a vase for your water in. And I like to put a tape grid on top of our vases. So we tape the grid and then you do a tape around the top to keep the tape sticking down. I start with greenery. This is kind of just your basic leather leaf as it creates a real sturdy kind of cage for the flowers that I'm going to be putting in the vase. And I'm just kind of tucking it in. And what I normally do is start with the largest, either the largest flower or the largest bloom. If it's something tall, I'll usually do that first so I can kind of gauge what the shape of my arrangement is going to be. I like to do a lot of different types of flowers, even if it's just one of everything. To me, that's a lot more visually interesting than four carnations, four roses, and four of something else. It just makes it look a little bit richer, I think. I'm a little bit more thoughtful about like what colors I put next to which other colors because you want it to look like as rich as it can and some colors next to each other look nicer than others. You don't really overthink it. I mean that's part of probably the reason I can move so quickly is that it really doesn't matter where you're putting it. It just, I mean no one is going to see this and be like, oh man, if she just would have put that up. No one thinks that way. They just see flowers and go, oh that's pretty. So I've got most of my blooms and now is when I'll add some more premium accent greenery. The purpose of the greenery at the end is just to kind of round off the shape, unless you want just a real kind of asymmetrical organic shape. If you add the greenery in the end, it just kind of fills in any of your holes that you might otherwise have. So this is what we have. Just a cute little easy, nothing too complicated.